In this tutorial, you'll learn how to free up storage of documents and data on your iPhone. To understand documents and data, you must first understand how an iOS application works. Each application works in a sandbox environment, which means that each of these applications has its own individual storage. The documents and data folder contains different items for different applications. For example, your Amazon Kindle app has ebooks downloaded for offline access in its documents and data folder. Because of this exclusion, your iPhone will slowly become congested with temporary and junk files, which will soon fight for space with data you actually want in your device. So how much storage space does each individual documents and data folder take? It depends. To find out, follow these steps. Navigate to Settings, General, Storage and iCloud Usage, Manage Storage. To check how much space each application's documents and data take, click on the name of the application and then you should be able to see the memory distribution of that app. Pixlr. Documents and data is taking up 86.7 megabytes of space. So in every app, you can go down your whole list of apps and just check how much space each documents and data folder is taking up. 38.2 megabyte in Dropbox. So how do you free up storage of documents and data on the iPhone? Since each application stores data in its private folder, there is no straightforward way to get rid of these unwanted data. There are two ways to clear items in the documents and data folder of the iOS applications. Method one, you could delete or uninstall the application from your phone, and then you'd have to reinstall the application. And method two, erase the app's document and data files from within the app. So for example, open the settings of the app and click on clear downloaded files. However, not all mobile apps will enable this method from inside the app. So what do you do if you still don't have enough storage space on your phone? You can use Wondershare Safe Eraser to help you free up your phone. And this is how it works. The one click feature on this software is awesome. It's able to release massive amounts of storage space in just one go. So I've connected my iPhone to my computer and it's showing me how much space I've used and how much space I've got free. Now to clean it up, I click Express Cleanup. So it's going to scan through my phone looking for files that it can delete and junk that it can delete. And it will show me the total amount of temporary and junk files once the scan is complete. And I can free up the storage space on the phone by clicking on the Cleanup button. So once it's finished its scan, you can decide if you do in fact want to remove the unwanted files and junk. So if I didn't want to remove my temp files, I could deselect that check mark, but I will. So to completely erase all the unwanted files, make sure your phone is securely connected to your computer throughout the duration of the process and just click clean up. Now it's removed 117 megabytes. And if you wanted to, you could rescan it just to make sure that everything is gone. And once it's been rescanned, there is nothing left. Everything's been removed. I can still clean up. And after the erasing process has been completed, the interface of the software will display information regarding the current storage state of your iPhone. And you click Done. So in this tutorial, you learned how to free up storage of documents and data on the iPhone. 